In this video, I'd like to walk you through the edit of a color infrared photo in Lightroom on the iPad. This can be done in any version of Lightroom. Uh, it could be done in Lightroom Classic, the newer desktop version of Lightroom, or it can be done in Lightroom Mobile on the iPad. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is select a color profile. So I'll go to Profile and select Browse. Within my profiles, I have a selection of profiles I've created for infrared photography. I'll put a link up in the corner to show you how you can create these profiles using LUTs specifically for your camera. The process takes about 15 minutes to set up, but once you're done, you can use these profiles in any version of Lightroom. So I'm going to select the profile that I created based on the channel mixer, and then we'll close that. The next thing I want to do is to select a white balance. So I'll get to go into color and I'll select the picker. You have a variety of choices here. We could select it based on the sky. That's going to create a bit too yellow or the foliage, which will be more on the blue side, or we can go on the grass, which will have a little, little bit leaning towards the yellow. I actually kind of like that look. So I'm going to select that for this image. The next thing I want to do is add an S curve to this to add some contrast. So I'll go into presets and under the curve selection, I'll select strong S curve, apply that and then hit done. Okay. Now we can walk through some of the, the basic edits. I'll start with a, a quick auto level. This just gives me an idea of what Lightroom's thinking and I'll, I can make adjustments from there. So typically I'll maybe add a little bit more contrast and drop the highlights. I'll go down into the effects section. We'll add a little bit of clarity and some dehaze. So I like the direction we're heading in, but the foliage is still a little too bright uh, in, in, the, the, in the tree and then the grass is a little too bright. So we're, we're gonna tackle that. There'll be a couple things that we'll do here. So first let's go back into color. I'll select the color wheel and down here within the color mix section, I wanna make adjustments to specific colors. Because I swapped the colors with the profile, it can be a little bit more challenging to pick the colors you like. So I'll just use the color picker and then I'll select luminance. And then I will, within the image, I will select the color I want to adjust, this yellow color. And I'm just gonna drop that down a little bit to drop the brightness of that. That'll make it a little bit richer. That looks good. Okay, so that takes care of the tree. Now I wanna adjust the, the grass. For the grass, let's create a graduated filter. So I'll select the adjustment and in the upper left-hand corner, the plus graduated filter. Now I can draw a graduated filter onto the image. Get a bit of a diagonal here. I don't mind if I go into the sky a little bit because the sky's pretty bright. Now I'll select light and then we will drop the exposure. And we can see the effect that that's having on the grass, get us a little bit more contrast. So somewhere in this range, I'll increase the contrast as well. There we go. So I've got a lot more texture in the grass, a lot more contrast, and it's not blown out so much. Now, another thing that I'd like to do with my brushes is we've got a little bit of a bright spot on the left side of this tree. I don't want the focus to be there. I'd rather have the focus be on the right side of the tree. So we'll go into the adjustment area and select the plus and I'll select the adjustment brush. I'll drop a dot up here. Let me check my brush size, get that where I want it in the feathering. Okay, now I can draw just a bit on the left side of the tree, just in these brighter areas really just to bring that down a bit. Okay, now that that's done, I'll come over to the selective edit area and under light, I'll just drop the exposure a little bit, maybe a third of a stop-ish. That's good, just darken that area ever so slightly and hit done. So now we're looking pretty good. Okay, the next thing I wanna do here is over on the right side, we actually have some power lines, kind of hard to see maybe uh, in the video, but um, I could just uh, get rid of these pretty quickly with the healing brush. So I'll get a right size healing brush and we'll draw in here. There we go. That takes care of most of it, but I'll do another brush 
closer to the horizon. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so we're pretty good here. Now, one of the things that I like to do with infrared is think about colors. I really like these colors. They look really good. Many times with an image like this, I will lean towards a, a blue sky with yellow foliage as we have here, or maybe go a little bit more surreal with some orange foliage and a teal sky. Those color combinations tend to, to work really well together, yellow and blue and orange and teal. So let's just explore that a little bit. I don't know which direction we're going to go in, but we can explore it. I'll go into the color section, select the color wheel again. I will select the picker and then I'm going to have hue selected and we'll start with the foliage. So I can select any area in the foliage and drag up or down. If I drag up, I'm going to get more towards that orange, red. Uh, if, I, if I was to really go up all the way, it would get into a bit of a purple. And if I drag down, then I'm going to get back to the yellow and then eventually drift into a kind of a neon yellow and a green section. Now, the thing to be aware of when you're making these changes, if I unclick the, the selector, I was actually affecting the blues. So if I look at the cyan here, you can see that I've affected the hue of the cyan. And then if you select blue, I can see that I've affected the blue as well. So one thing to be aware of is when you're dragging, uh, it'll affect both sliders, which which means you're not going to may not get a linear uh, effect up and down. You may have to sort of reset it to the middle um, to to if you go too far in one direction. But that gives you an idea of what you can look at. So let's try shifting this a little bit to the orange and then let's look at the sky and shift the sky towards that would be more towards a blue purple and then this is going to be more towards that uh, that teal look that'll be more dramatic so that's one look that we have and that's not bad let's take a look at I'm going to reset these colors we'll reset the hues uh, so that's orange yellow cyan and blue and then the other we'll look we'll, we'll look at is the yellow and blue so i'll click on the picker and then we don't need to make too many adjustments i may just go a hint more towards the yellow there and then for the sky bring the sky towards more of a royal blue so i actually like the look of the 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 blue and yellow in this case the sky looks more natural which makes the yellow colors pop so there we go. This is how you can edit a color infrared photo in Lightroom on the iPad. These same edits are available in the, the desktop version of Lightroom and in Lightroom Classic. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.